Today we are going to build this testimonial block using Elementor. And you can go over to instawp.io to launch your own disposable WordPress environment for free. Okay, so we are at the Elementor page builder. And on the left, we have some widgets that we can use to build our layout. So I'm going to click the plus icon on the right and select this structure. Okay, and now I'm going to go back to the widgets panel and drag an intersection to this section. All right, I'm going to click on a column, right click it and click duplicate. So now we have three identical columns. Okay, so the quickest way to build a testimonial is to go back to the, to the widgets panel and search for the testimonial widget. So just type testimonial in, in the search box, drag the testimonial widget to one of the columns. And here we have a testimonial that's ready to edit. So basically all you need to do is change the text for the testimonial, change the image like this, and change the name of the person leaving the testimonial. But we are gonna create one from scratch. So I'm gonna click on this edit button and click delete. Now let's make our own. Okay, so first let's drag a text editor widget to the column and let's format this right away. So let's click on style and change the alignment to center. Let's change the text color to something a bit darker than this default gray. All right, so let's edit the typography. Let's click on this and change the weight to about 300. All right, and you can always make adjustments to the size and font family, for example, but I'm gonna leave this as is. So right now we have um, what would be the actual message left by the reviewer. So let's go back and drag an image to the bottom of the text, but within the same column. Okay, so this image container is a bit large, but we can click this drop down to change it to a thumbnail. And let's select our image, click insert media. All right. Okay, so it's smaller. Now, um, what we want to do is go to style and change the width. I'm going to drag the slider to adjust the size. Um, I think this is okay. And I'm going to scroll all the way down and adjust border radius. I'm going to increase this until uh, this image becomes perfectly round. All right. Um, I'm going to just make this 40. All right, so now we have our main testimonial text as well as our image, which is rounded. Next, we want to work on the name and job title. So I'm going to go over to uh, the widgets panel again, and I'm going to drag this heading widget right under this image widget. Okay, this is definitely too big, so we need to make it smaller. If we look on the right, we have a size option. So I'm going to change this from default to something like small or medium. Let's go with medium. Okay, this size looks good. You can always change the HTML tag if you want, but I'm going to center align this and um, I'm going to edit this title. I'm going to call this person John Doe. Okay, so far this looks good, but we want to change the color of this text. So go over to style at the top and change the text color to a dark gray. Don't make it black, but make it a dark gray. Okay, now I need one more text widget under the heading widget. So I'm gonna drag a text editor widget under the name and let's remove uh, most of this text. Let's center align this as well. So this is what the title would look like. Now let's go over to content and change the text. Now let's say this person is a chief engineer. So I'm gonna remove this text and type chief engineer at a company called XYZ. So chief engineer comma XYZ corp. Okay. All right, so we have um, our full testimonial. Now, the last thing we need to do is to work on the spacing. Currently, the spacing here is not that great. So I'm gonna click the column in the top left and under widget space, I'm gonna type eight. Okay, so that looks much better. Okay, so let's deal with more aesthetics. Make sure you're selecting the correct column and go to advanced. And what I'm gonna do is um, adjust the padding. So I'm gonna give this 24 pixels of padding all around. I think this looks good. Um, but this testimonial looks a bit flat, so we wanna raise it up from the canvas. So we're gonna select the column, make sure it's selected, go to style and go to border. And I'm going to click on the edit icon next to box shadow. So what I want to do is add a shadow to this. Okay. This shadow is a bit too dark. So I'm going to click on color to adjust the opacity. 
Let's make this a bit lighter. Okay, now let's adjust the blur. Let's make it about 40. All right, so we are done with the drop shadow. Now we need to copy this. So we just want to go over to the column icon, right click it and click copy. Go to a blank part of the section and paste. Let's delete an empty column. So we're going to delete this one. All right, let's paste one more. So we're just going to right click and click paste. Let's delete the final blank one. All right, so we now have three identical testimonial cards. I'm going to click preview at the bottom. Okay, so now we have three white testimonials. Let's make this design more eye catching by adding a color to the middle one. Click on the column for the middle testimonial, then click the style tab and under background type, select classic and change the color to one of your choice. I already picked out a blue color, so I'm going to remove this hex code and type mine in right here. Okay, so it's this blue color. Now you can barely see the text on this. So we need to change this text color in style. Let's change this to white. And for the name, click on it, go to style, change the text color to white. Do the same for the title at the bottom. Change the text color to white as well. Okay, so now we have a more eye-catching testimonial block. So you can go through your design to make sure that everything looks okay. Once you're happy with the way everything looks, click the preview changes button at the bottom of the page next to update. Okay, so now you know how to create a testimonial block in WordPress using Elementor. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.